Hello, I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood, and you're in the shop with me today. And today I want to talk about the difference between painting and staining. And there are differences and how that relates to whether it's wood siding, a deck, or anything. Sealers and stains are different than paints. Most painters uh, will paint from the top down. Staining and sealing should be from the bottom up. I'm going to explain why that is. If you ever are having any of your projects done, that's one of the questions you should ask uh, your contractor. How do they do it? Or watch when they do it and make sure that they know the proper way to do that. And I'll show you why. And what happens is, I've made up just a, a section here of what would be siding. And I'll explain that if we stain or seal and we start at the top, any drip marks will go on the wood and more than likely dry by the time we get to them. Because we always go board by board. We don't do sections, otherwise you'll show lap marks. So we wouldn't do this section, top to bottom, and then this section, top to bottom, it would show sections. Bottom to top, bottom to top, sections, you'll have an overlap mark. So what we wanna do is we always go board by board and we always wanna keep a wet edge. So what happens is, if we start at the top and we do a drip, that's coat number one. Then when we go over top, we do coat number two and possibly number three if we're putting two brush coats on or spray coats, however we're applying the stainer sealer. So what happens is, typically, uh, you get done and you think you did a great job, you come back the next day or the homeowner calls and says, I have these spots all over the house. And what happens is, they were the drip marks and when you went over them, they showed up because it's actually the third coat um, if you put on the two coats. So, and I'll illustrate that again in a minute, what I mean by that. So why we start from the bottom and we work up? Stains and sealers will repel themselves. So as we work up the, the siding of the house, or if we're doing skirting on the lattice, on the outside of the deck, we do that first, then we go up to the railings. Don't do the railings first, because any drips will be the same thing, it'll be a coat. So same thing, so this, the drips get on the wood, and then what happens is if they sit on top of the stains or sealers that repel themselves, we just brush them away. No harm, no foul, you don't even see them. So we do it from the top up. Stains and sealers, bottom up. Painting can be top down. This is different. So, painters usually make the mistakes. Not all painters, there's very good painters out there. But people that are not used to staining and sealing can make that mistake very easily. Homeowners make that mistake very often. Okay, so what happens is, I took a, a board and we have some spots I let dry on there. And just to illustrate what I'm talking about, what happens is, if you apply a coat over top, you're beginning to see what happens here. Okay. If you look closely, you will see the spots show up because they already dried on the wood. Now that's only been on the wood for probably about an hour, those drips. If you don't get to them within 30 minutes or less, depending on the heat and the day, those drips are gonna dry and that's what's gonna look like on your siding or deck. Here's one I did a little bit ago and set it up and you can see the few drips. But just to illustrate what happens, this is what you will get. So, to summarize, if we're staining or sealing our wood project, whether it's a deck, a fence, or wood siding, a log home, we want to start from the bottom up. Any drips we brush in, no harm, no foul, you see nothing. If you go from the top down, that's your first coat. Subsequent coats, it'll show up like this. That's your tip from the Wizard of Wood, and hopefully that'll help you seal or stain your next project.